All right, let's talk about some different triangles. So one triangle would be called an equilateral triangle. Now equilateral triangles, they have three equal sides. And a lot of times when we're talking about a side that is equivalent to another side, we use these little hash marks like this. So that one hash mark, and that means that those two are the same. And that one there means that all three are the same side. So we have um, equilateral triangles have three equal sides and they also have three equal angles that are always, 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 always 60 degrees. So three equal sides and then three equal angles as well. And they use these little arc marks to show that. You can put two, sometimes they have two arc marks. And as long as they have the same amount of arc marks, that means that they are congruent. So this has two, two, two. They're all congruent, they're all 60 degrees right there for an equilateral triangle. Okay, on to the next triangle. Then we have the isosceles triangle. Isosceles, isosceles, isosceles. It's kind of a fun word to say, isosceles. Isosceles, a triangle down the lane. I don't know, okay, just ignore me. All right, so isosceles triangles, they have two equal sides. So we would put a little hash mark here, and I'm gonna use two so it shows that they're different side lengths than these ones here because I used one, so those are all the same. And these are the same to each other, but they are not the same as those. Okay, two equal sides and then two equal angles. So these would be considered the base angles, and I'm gonna put three arc marks there to show that these are the same. Okay, so this angle is the same as that one. All right, um, then the last triangle we're gonna talk about is the scalene triangle. Scalene triangles have no equal sides and no equal measures or angle measures. So I can't put any um, hash marks on the sides and I can't put any arc marks in the um, where the angles are because there's nothing that is the same. Everything is unique and different. It's a very unique triangle, the scalene. All right, so let's go to example two. Example two says finding angles in equilateral isosceles and scalene triangles. So here we have it, A. A says find the angle measures in an equilateral triangle. So we wanna find these angle measures and we have no numbers. We just know Y, Y, and Y, but we do know the triangle sum theorem, right? That all of these angle measures add up to, yes, 180 degrees. So, we just add all of these um, sides up, so y plus y plus y equals 180. y plus y plus y is 3y. And then we just do algebra. We wanna get y by itself, so we divide both sides by three because this is three times y, so we're doing that inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. Divide both sides. Three divided by three is one. One times y is y. Ooh, y is by itself, woohoo. And then we go 180 divided by three, which um, three goes into 18 six times with a zero, it's 60. So that means that each angle, it says find the angle measures in the equilateral triangle, there's 60. And they told us up here, equilateral triangles always have angle measures of 60. Well, we just proved it, that's why. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go ahead and do B. B says find the angle measures in the isosceles triangle. So isosceles triangle, remember, that is a triangle that has two equal sides and two, angle, um, two equal angle measures. So we're gonna find the angle measures in this isosceles triangle. All right, so we have 40, T, and T. Okay, so these are the two angles which are the same. We're just gonna use that triangle sum theorem. So we're gonna go 40 plus T plus T equals 180. All right, all right. Combine like terms, T plus T is 2T. So we have 40 plus 2T equals 180. And then we're just gonna solve for T. So I have to get rid of this 40. I'm gonna do the inverse operations, which would be subtracting by 40 to both sides. That cancels. I'm left with 2t equals 180 minus 40 would be 40. And then what do I do? It would be 140, right? My bad, 140. 
140. And then we go, we have to get t by itself, so we divide both sides by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times t is t. And 140 divided by 2, 2 goes into 14 7 times with the 0, so it's 70 degrees. And we could always check that. 70 plus 70 would be 140 plus 40 would be 180, so that is right. Okay, on to the next page. What do we have here? Okay. It says, find the angle measures in this right scaling triangle. So it's right, which means there's a 90 degree angle. And it's scaling, which means every single angle has a different measure. Now this says angle measures. Now before, right, even though there's three angle measures with this one, each angle measure was Y. And so we found that Y equals 60, so we are good. Here, it said find each angle measure. All we had to find was T because this is 70 and this is 70. However, with this scaling triangle, we not only have to figure out what X is, but we have to figure out what this angle of measure is and this angle of measure at the end of the problem. Okay? So, let's go for it. All right, so we're just going to use our triangle sum theorem. We're going to go 2X plus X plus 90 equals 180. Combine like terms, 2X plus X is 3X plus 90, and then we're just going to solve for y, get, I mean not y, but x, get x by itself, so I need to subtract 90 here, 180 minus 90 is 90, and then I need to get x by itself, so I'm going to divide it by 3, and that leaves me with 90 divided by 3 is 30. Okay, so we know that x is 30, but we need to figure out what 2x is. So 2x equals 2 times x is 30, which means 60 degrees. 2 times 30 is 60. So find the angle measures. The angles measures equal 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, those are both, and this one's obviously 90. Okay, great. Um, so now I think I want you to try to do some problems on your own. So here is my friend. I want you to try D, E, and F. Okay, so D, E, and F. Go ahead and try all of these on your own. Here's my friend, the pause dragon. I might need to pause your device. Go ahead and work out those problems. When you get done, press play and we'll talk about them. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see how you did. So we're going to use that triangle sum theorem, right? And just go n plus n plus 50 equals 180. Combine like terms, that's 2n plus 50. And then do the algebra, right? So subtract 50. We end up with 130. Uh, then we're trying to get n by itself. So we're going to use the inverse operation of multiplication, which would be division to both sides. And n equals 130 divided by 2. 2 goes into 13 six times. 6 times 2 is 12. Drop the 1. 2 goes into 10 five times. 5 times 2 is 10. Boom. That's it. So 65. 65 degrees. That's this angle and this angle. Okay. Now let's go ahead and move on to this problem here. Okay, E. So if you got 65 on this one, great job. Let's go ahead and see how you did on E, right? We're just using that triangle sum theorem. So T plus T plus T equals 180. T plus T plus T is 3T equals 180. And then we want to get T by itself, so we divide because it's 3 multiplied by 3. We have to do the inverse operation. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times T is T. 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So there we have it, that equilateral. Every single one of these angles is 60 degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and try F here. Let's see how you did. So we have 2X, X, and X. So we're just going to do our triangle sum theorem. 2X plus X plus X equals 180. So 2X plus X plus X, 2X plus X is 3X plus X is 4X. So we have 4X 
equals 180. Uh, we're going to use the division property of equality. Divide both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times x is x. So now x is by itself. Now we just need to determine what 180 divided by 4 is. Uh, 4 goes into 18 4 times. 4 times 4 is 16. And 2, drop down to 0. 4 goes into 25 times. So 45. Okay, perfect. So we have this angle being 45 and this angle being 45. So now we just need to figure out 2x. 2x is going to equal 2 times 45, right? And 2 times 45 is 90. So the angles are 45 degrees and 90 degrees. So if you got that one right, great job. Okay, let's go ahead and um, I want to do G here. Let's do G together. So it says find the angle measures in the right scalene triangle. Okay, so scalene means all of the angle measures are going to be different. So we're just going to use our triangle sum theorem. We're going to add up all the angle measures. So we have 3P plus 2P plus P equals 180. Right, we're gonna combine like terms. 3P plus 2P is 5P, plus P is 6P. Okay. Now we just need to get P by itself. It's being multiplied by six, so we need to do the inverse operation, which would be division. And P equals 180 divided by six. Um, six goes into 18 three times. And then we drop down that zero, it doesn't go in there, 30. So it's 30, P is 30 degrees. Okay, now we know what P is, now we just need to figure out what 2P is. Two times P, which is 30. So that's 60 degrees, okay. Then we just need to figure out what 3P is. So 3P is equal to three times 30, right, because that's what P is which is equal to 90 degrees. So these uh, triangles, I'm kind of running out of room. These angles, I'm sorry, are 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. All three. Okay, perfect. Now this says find the angle measures in the isosceles triangle. Okay, this is not an isosceles triangle. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to wipe that part out and write scaling because this looks like a scaling triangle. Unless we want to make it a sauce, oh, we'll call it scaling. A scaling triangle. All right, so I want you to try this one on your own. So here's my friend, the pause dragon. Remind you to pause your device. Go ahead and work out these problems when you get done. Press play and we'll talk about it. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see how you did. Okay, so we're gonna use that triangle sum theorem. We're gonna go 5x plus 3x plus 2x equals 180. We add these up, five plus three is eight, plus two is 10, so we have 10x equals 180. We're gonna get x by itself, so we have to divide both sides by 10. We're left with x, these little cancel out, and we're left with 18. So x equals 18, but we need to figure out what 2x, 3x, and 5x are. So 2x is going to equal 2 times 18, which is what? 18 times 2. 2 times 8 is 16, right? The 6 carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 36. So this one's 36 degrees. Okay, now we're going to go to 3x. 3x is equal to 3 times 18. And 3 times 18, I'm going to have to go 18 times 3. Uh, 3 times 8 is 24. Write the 4, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. So 54 degrees. And lastly, 5x is 5 times 18. And 18 times 5. 5 times 8 is 40, write the 0, carry the 4. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 90. Okay, so that is 90 degrees.
Okay, so we have our three angle measures, which are 36 degrees, 54 degrees, and 90 degrees. So if you got all of those right, yokodenkimashita, yokodenkimashita, you did a wonderful job. You did a good job, and I'll see you next time.